guys oh god where did that just come from hi guys how's it going welcome back to my youtube channel we've got a little ingham family update i feel like a super sleuth like sometimes i'll get sent things and then i feel really mischievous i'm just like oh my gosh look at this look at this information i can't keep my eyes focused on like everyone at once there's always one family vlogger there's always someone who's not who's not behaving properly and i sometimes i catch it and other times i miss it so i do apologize but i've been sent i've been sent some sneaky information the ingham family and the zaccone jolie family just make me laugh like they just do like yes they're crap don't get me wrong they're utter crap just the general antics crap all over nice you know i just i just i just i don't care enough about that stuff but, but oh my gosh sometimes i'll have a right laugh sometimes i'll just have a right i'm like why why is this happening new bed one in the children's section apart from my blue ear woman pepper pig sometimes it's just so ridiculous so we're just gonna get straight into the i want to take you guys back like a few vlogs ago with the ingham so basically sarah's sister has just had a baby so I'm going to go up tomorrow and see her if she has him tonight and everything's okay and she's allowed home. I'll be able to have some newborn. Oh my gosh, she'll be properly newborn, newborn snuggles as well. Uh, she's not a part of the family vlogger circle or anything, so yeah. But um, she just had a baby. Congratulations, whoever you are. Sarah was doing this whole little bit saying that she can't wait to go and see the new baby and all of this. Uh, they're sat in the car and, you know, here ever, whatever, I'll play you the clip. Um, but I'm gonna go hopefully and see him tomorrow. I'm literally just so excited. And then cut to the next day because you have to remember these guys are daily vloggers. They literally like film during the day and then upload it in the evening. I've literally heard, like, I've heard Chris explain this about five different times and they start panicking if they've got no interesting footage for that day. Like I can't even imagine living like that. Actually I can. Sometimes when I've tried to vlog and nothing interesting is happening, I'm a bit like, well, this is crap. I do get it. But then again, I'm not a family vlogger, so. Up to the next day, and Sarah, like, they love using their sick kids for content. They just absolutely love it, and it's just, this is horrible. I've talked about this, honestly, I've talked about this so many times with them. What is it with this family where whenever one of their kids gets sick, their kid is then in the thumbnail, their kid looks all sad, they look all sad, they title it something ridiculous. They must think payday, because whenever their kids are sick, their videos always get more views, which just makes me feel a bit icky, to be honest. So what was going on with that? She then explains that her kid is really not very well. Iski saying that her kid is really poorly. Um, and she said that she's not gonna be able to go out and see her sister on that day. And I have spent pretty much every single second since I woke up this morning, sat on this chair with a very poorly little girl today i was supposed to be going up to meet my brand new less than 24 hours old little nephew but i can't because my own little baby is just having her first ever illness now i was sent <laughs> i was sent numerous pictures and i'm just like why lie about this she basically is going on to say that she literally she cannot go and see she cannot go and see because like her kid's sick and she doesn't want to get like a 24 hour old baby sick so uh, someone basically managed to get a screenshot of her sister responding to a comment saying that yes she did see her sister like the day before that video was posted like yeah she did she did come and the other kid was really really excited or whatever now someone then commented this on that video and it's gone lads that comment is gone the comment's got like why lie why lie why lie about something like this so just to double check that this was actually the video that that comment was deleted on the one where they were saying well your sister said that you actually went over you'd already been over and then there's obviously sarah saying we can't go over because the baby's sick i went to go and double check to see if that comment about the kids reindeer hoodie was on that video and lo and behold of course it is all round yeah sneaky suspicious so yeah the the comment that was made by her sister must have been made obviously before this video was done and this video she's there saying that her kid is too sick you know you know yeah your sister said on her account you did go over and that jace was really excited so why did you say you didn't go over because you know it's not right is what you think it is you know it's not right like don't take your really sick kid over when they didn't even know why they were sick in the very first place to go and see a baby that young. Yesterday's vlog, you'll know that Mila was a little bit under the weather. She had a temperature all day. She was completely out of it. She pretty much slept the whole of yesterday. 
So I put off going to see my brand new little nephew because obviously, number one, I didn't want to pass anything on, and number two, I didn't want to leave Mila. Um, today's the day. There would be absolutely zero reasoning as to why Sarah would delete that comment unless she wasn't telling the truth. Just why even mention it in the very first place? Like, can you imagine? Having people so invested in your lives that you've got to explain something that doesn't really need explaining, otherwise people are going to ask about it. Like, I just couldn't imagine. I just couldn't imagine. It's just too much effort. So the thing is, if Sarah had nothing to hide, we all know that Sarah would be there, like, throwing, like, firearms, literally going like, ah. It's because, it's because she was lying. It's because she'd already gone over and visited. Just... Beggar's belief. Beggar's absolute belief. And it's like, so Sarah and Chris have done this before where they'll lie about things which didn't even need to be lied about in the very first place. Just don't mention it. Just don't mention it. Just don't mention it. But then again, actually, don't, don't mention it. Just don't do it in the very first place. Like, she knows that it wasn't a good idea. That's the reason why she deleted the comments. Anyway, I just thought that that was... This is what I'm trying to tell you guys about. I can't keep my eyes on one family vlogger at the same time because they'll then just start doing something really crap. And I'm like... Lying to your audience and then also like going to visit a really like a newborn baby with your really sick baby. Just hold it off. Some people might be like, oh, it doesn't matter, but it matters to me. Like I've got two kids and I've got two kids. Now. I've got two kids. And so obviously I've been through that newborn baby stage. Mm -mm. You wouldn't be going, you would not be getting through my front door. My front door if one of you is sick because they're so little and they just need protecting and da, 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 da. do you know what i mean it's the very first experience of being out into the new world and you've got a really sick baby just like whatever just don't do it tell chris massive that. discount i didn't tell chris i was like oh my gosh nearly a thousand pounds yeah, and i'm sat there like, like i'm not sat there like, straight divorce <laughs> mate as soon as she comes back here then when she comes out of here when what she's are you talking about dead. divorce it wasn't me what? What are you talking about? I didn't get anything. It's you with your coat and your leggings and your, your base layers. I didn't okay. get anything. Blow up for all of this is that they have been going manic at the minute. They have been going manic with just them buying a lot of things. Now, if you're not aware, right, December is YouTube payday. Advertisers put a lot of ads onto YouTube so YouTube can then pay you more money. So, for instance, in the month of December, I earn about three like 400 quid more than what i would normally earn um purely because it was december okay purely because it's december so a lot of these family channels and a lot of channels in general will go like mega 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 in december and then they'll take a lot of january off because like the, the, january is the worst month for youtubers you get paid nothing but in january you get given your december paycheck because it's like all in arrears so you can very clearly tell that these guys have gotten their christmas paycheck they have gone they gone mad. They bought everything. I just saw a new video out where they bought all their kids' MacBooks. Is that true? Like the MacBook thing? I would. I. What well, I I haven't watched it all. I haven't watched it all. In fact, I haven't even watched the point of them opening it. So, did they actually get MacBooks or was that clickbait? Because I don't know. But anyway, I saw the thumbnail and I was like, I can't focus on this right now. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? And to be, their their commenters are not very happy with it. Some commenters are going, Oh, I just can't see you splurging money like this. And the funny thing is, is that I remember Chris, always, Chris was always banging on about how much everything costs and like, oh, I couldn't spend that amount of money on this. But then we'll go and buy like so much, like we'll let Sarah, I say let Sarah, but Sarah will then go and just buy so much tat. She's like constantly redoing the rooms. It'll be a very busy, busy week for us. We've actually got a trip coming up at the very end of this week and we are not ready for it. We are not organized. We are not ready. The house is done. I know I've mentioned about 50 times now we had a little project we like to have little projects and little goals that we like to get squeezed into the house in between trips. And then they're not even staying in the bloody house to begin with. They don't stay there. They literally go. Like, they come back, do a little project, and then they then go for, like, two months. Some little goals. Commit to a life. Stay in the house or live in your van. But to be honest, I don't understand it, and I think it is confusing their audience as well, because their audience, some of them... I don't know if it's majority, but a lot of them don't like the new setup and the fact that they're always away. They just want to see the, them at home with their kids or whatever. Um, they, so their latest thing is that they're going away somewhere extremely cold. So they get they went to go outdoors and they bought all the stuff. And Chris is there complaining about, oh, everything costs like 1,000 quid. But then they then got some money off. Uh, and 
five. I nearly had a heart attack then. Legit, not, getting, not, not even playing. I, I nearly had a heart attack then. Like she was, a... She's at the tail and she's like, nine, it's 927 pounds. I was like, no, it wasn't that. It was 997. 997, sorry. Not just Sarah like casually interjecting there that it was actually more money. Oh, golly gosh. But luckily, if you're a Go Outdoors member, that price dropped by more than half. No, almost half. Was it almost half? Yeah. I don't actually believe that Go Outdoors, like for your membership, you get 50% off. Like, otherwise everyone would have a Go Outdoors membership because that's insane. I've only been to Go Outdoors a couple of times because not, there's not one around here. But I don't think that sounds right. Anyway, they're off doing that um, and buying MacBook, like just spending large amounts of money. Well, this is highly, highly annoying. Basically the footage, I paused the video to go and look at my notes because I write things in my notes. Lo and behold, I forgot to then press record when I came back to the camera. So you've got B-roll footage of me talking. Basically, right, right. I have this sneaky suspicion and this isn't what I think. This is, this is what I think, not what I know. And I say that all the time, but it is true. They're going away a lot in this country anyway if you're saying that you're homeschooling and i will talk about homeschooling again because the ingham family are like classic 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 for say they're homeschooling but then there doesn't literally doesn't look like there any homeschooling going on they're away more than they're back like if you know you know if you follow them you blatantly have the same thoughts as me unless you're like a mega fan of theirs that in this country you do actually have and by the way this is just my sneaky suspicions <clears throat> you have like the um the learning association people who basically come around and make sure that you're actually doing some sort of structured learning or just some sort of learning with your children is like because every child in this country you know has a right to go to school so then if you're saying that you're homeschooling they will occasionally come around and check now because they've got a really big platform do we reckon that because they're going away so much they were actually told to go and get these macbooks and stuff so they, they can do some learning or look like they're doing some learning because the older kids all got macbooks and i'm not saying they should have got the younger kids macbooks because they're like teeny tiny but it's just a little bit strange how why would they just why would they splurge out all of this stuff why would they do that it doesn't really make a lot of sense there's also that element of oh well if they're using it for business maybe they could like claim back through expenses with tax because we're coming up to i think we've just done it the end of the tax year and they'll be registered as self-employed because all youtubers are registered as self-employed i've had to register myself as self-employed just because i earn a little bit i earn little bits of money for youtube so every youtuber has got to register themselves as self-employed because that is who we are we're employed by google but like google comes up on our actual uh paycheck it says google that's what that's what it says google island that's what happens whenever i get paid paid by google but you are self-employed so maybe that's the reason why they decided to put these last minute splash outs because they'd be able to get some money back on it who knows this is me just like talking out my ass i'm just being a bit like oh maybe so who knows if that makes any sense whatsoever do you agree with that or not because it was just something that came to my mind and i've been thinking about it in a little bit more detail i still haven't watched the whole of that video i won't lie yeah for sure i did find that quite interesting they're just such a strange bunch like they're just a bit of the it's just i don't know i just think i just think i just i i think they're i've been saying this for so long that their time of youtube is ending but well and truly i think if they keep on doing all of these different trips then it's only, only gonna go downhill it should have gone downhill a very long time ago but whatever we, we ain't getting into this right now i hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are in this world take care of each other take care of yourselves and i'll catch up with you guys in the next video projects i like to have a lot of projects and little goals